I want to take you to the CBS4 Mountain Cam. And uh, Chris, this is one of those where uh, either, because uh, 4th of July hit right in the middle of the week, so both weekends are kind of holiday weekends out there. And look at all that traffic heading up into the high country. Yes, yeah, some uh, busy roads out there. I noticed that driving in this morning. I thought, wow, a little bit more activity than usual at 5 a.m. on a Saturday. A beautiful view out there of the high country. And if you're heading to the high country today, you'll have those sunny skies till about 12 or 1. Then you'll see some clouds building here in the city looking uh, toward the downtown. It's a little hazy. I'll show you another camera in just a minute with a little bit better view and we'll talk about what's happening with our air. 69 officially at the airport. It's 67 in Goodland and Burlington, 69 in Pueblo. Heading to the high country, we have some 40s and 50s this morning and some 60s and 70s on the western slope. It's a very mild start to the day. Bambi, she's our weather watcher out there east of Conifer, 61 degrees. Also reporting the hazy skies. There's downtown Denver. It's in there. This this is maybe some smoke from the wildfires, but it's more a function of the high pressure we have overhead. High pressure creates a sinking motion and that traps pollutants right near the ground. So we are going to have poor air quality today. An ozone action alert for the entire Front Range urban corridor below 7,500 feet. I would imagine this will get reissued tomorrow too, just simply due to this stuck weather pattern that we are in. Here's satellite and radar. A little bit of low cloud cover on the eastern plains. A little low uh, wildfire smoke probably mixed in as well well, but we are dry statewide. This ridge of high pressure, it's a big one. It's covering most of the nation. It was 109 yesterday in Long Beach, California, just to give you an idea of how hot it is. This high pressure just hangs out with us for the next several days, and that means more of the same, a pretty stagnant weather pattern ahead. Today, we start off mostly sunny. By 12 or 1, we are going to see some clouds build over the high country, and that's where the best chance for a shower or thunderstorm will be today. In southwestern Colorado, down by Durango, we actually have the best chance statewide to see rain down that way, and that's good news. They're very dry. Uh, some of that rain could be locally heavy at times, and because of the large burn scar down there with the 416 fire, there is a flash flood watch for the southwest today. Again, this is mainly due to the burn scar in the area. Highs today well into the 90s statewide, east and west, 70s in the highest of elevations with 80s for many of our mountain communities today. Here's the five-day forecast. It is really... Uh, we. We call these the dog days of summer sometimes, Joel, when you get into a pattern like this. 90s every day with very little in the way of showers and thunderstorms. And not just 90s, like upper 90s. Up yeah. Hot ones, yeah. All right, thank you, Chris. Sure. Belgium fans, 